Welcome back to the vlog, and welcome here to Moke, Western Britain, Papua New Guinea. We're just doing like a nine minute flight over to Lama Guy. So I've already got the strip chart open, and uh, just so I can get everything set up right after we start, because I'm only gonna be, I'm at a thousand foot right now, and the elevation over there is just 500 feet, so we want a pattern altitude of 1500 feet, so I can just actually set that all up in here right this minute before we actually get started. All right, nobody's around. Matters on, fuel pump on. And low start. Pause system test, okay. Once our ITT drops below 200, because I just shut down, and reduce our fuel. There we go, that peaks out at 680. Mars 5565, November Tango, Zulu. November Tango, Zulu, Mars B, go ahead. November Tango, Zulu, landed Moke. Time 3-0, now taxiing for Lama Guy, 1 POB. November Tango, Zulu, no for the November Tango, Zulu. Fuel caps and selectors are good. Our TAWS, our train awareness system, turn Betty off for takeoff. Switches and instruments, we've got 710 pounds of fuel and just a couple kgs underneath. But we've got four seats off, so it evens itself out. So 5370, so rotate at 54 and 63. If we have to come back in, or when we land over there, it'll be 63 knots. Ups and radar are done. I'm gonna abort. Oh man, I'm gonna be, there's like a dark spot on the runway where the pigs kind of tore it all up over last week, I guess. Um, I should be probably almost airborne at that point because I'm empty. But um, I'll be at least 50 knots by that point or we will just stop on the runway. Heavy reverse. Uh, pull off and shut off. After takeoff, pitch for 85 knots, consider PL, consider feather. There's a couple logging roads down there that I might be able to try to land on. Otherwise, it's cut off, pull off and shut off. 80 full flaps, emergencies, masters, and crack my door. Thirty degrees at 1,000. 1540, so 1490, because I'm in bypass, so we'll go 50 below that. Ignition condition flaps 20 fuel and harnesses. Plus is complete. 1490. Put our lights on. Torque is set. Airspeed's alive. There's 50 right up over top of the rough part. Just climb out initially at 740 on the ITT. And actually, let's start bringing it up back now because we'll fly through our altitude of 1,500 feet in no time at all. Put our turn over here to Lama Guy. Over 85, we'll go 10 degrees of flaps. We're bringing our torque back even more. We're at 1,400 feet already. Four degrees, prop back to 2,000 RPM. Just throw a pilot on real quick. That way I can get my departure call going. Bring our torque on way back so that our fuel flow is below 320. That's all the way down to like a thousand foot pound of torque nearly. Morsby 5565, November Tango, Zulu departure. November Tango, Zulu departed Morsby, time 56. Our correction departed Moke, time 56, tracking 104. Kilo 5000, estimating Lama Guy 05. On 
November Tango Zulu, uh, unreadable. We'll call again, Moke 05. November Tango Zulu, call again on HF 555 or 8861. We'll try an 861 circuit, November Tango Zulu. All right, that's actually horrible today. All stations, Lama Guy 127.1, Kodiak November Tango Zulu 10 miles to the west, 1500. Circuit time, Lama Guy 02. Lama Guy Circuit, 500 feet. Uh, runway 04 is what we'll land on today. It's just a one way airstrip, it's flat. Nothing too exciting at all. There you guys can see, we just departed Moak, and we're heading right over here to Llama Guy. If you want to zoom out, we're out here on the islands on West New Britain, Papua New Guinea. Today, and after this, I'm going all the way up to Cave Yang, and then all the way back to Goroka this afternoon, so lots of flying today. If you guys want to fly from Moak over here to Llama Guy on your home sim, I'll leave a link down below to my Patreon where you guys can actually fly this. We've got Llama Guy now available for Microsoft Flight Sim. So you guys can actually add that on as like an uh, expansion pack, which is really cool. Uh, the guy who made it did a really, really great job on it, so. Okay, files, three minutes to go. Collectors and brakes are good. Our TAWS is turned off. Our very rep is already set up. Our lights and inlet are still on. We turn our igniters off, though. Uh, if we do need to go around, it's power up. 20 degrees, flaps, pitch for 73, maneuvers required. A left hand turn out probably. Or straight ahead. Prop and harness. Seven miles. Or the 8861 November Tango Zulu. End the circuit, Lama Guy, cancel SAR. November Tango Zulu, mostly reading is strength five. Copied, Lama Guy is our terminated. November Tango Zulu, likewise reading you strength three to four. Station Lama Guy 1271, November Tango Zulu is in the circuit. Lama Guy. Oh, actually, it's a little bit further up than I thought. I was going to say, wow, I'm already here. Uh, it's actually four more miles. Fly overhead, do a 180, enter into a left downwind, and do a circuit. Start is done. Fly where all those little white roofs are straight ahead. Up and harness is complete. Flaps to go. I'm hoping that they actually cleared out all the like display for uh, the approach, the clear way. Uh, they were supposed to. Last time I was here, we flew out the RA, came in here, did an inspection, and they were supposed to have cleared out all the stuff. So we'll see if that's done today. I can't tell yet. Nope. Potentially, maybe? Nope. Doesn't really look like it to me from here. Uh, well, that'll be some motivation for them to <laughs> get back in here. Hey, buddies. Uh, for me to be able to get back home, you're going to have to do what was told. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Hey, so Lee. Degrees of flaps. Landing on runway 04. There's almost a mile out. I'll start turning my downwind, 1500 feet. Once I get a beam, the numbers, I'll go 20 degrees of flaps, which I'm just about there now. So 20 degrees of flaps. I'll lose 300 feet here before turning my base at 1200. And then turning final direction. 1200, yeah, and then turning final 1,000 feet. MSL. But 63 final, 73 and 83, so I've got to slow down. And after this little field right here, there's a couple houses, that's where I'm going to turn my base. Seems to work pretty well in the past.
which looks to be indicated 1.4, 1.5 nautical miles from the airstrip. There's 83 knots, now we're slowing to 73 knots. Turn final at 1,000 feet to 500 feet above the ground. Full flaps checklist is complete. It'll help me start slowing on down to 63 knots. And as I'm in my turn, it'll also help me. And I'll just pull my power out a little bit. Five hundred and sixty-three knots is what we're shooting for, and five hundred and fifty on the vertical speed. It's hard to see over the cowling when you're going sixty-three knots. One knot at tailwind, four knots of crosswind. Uh, they might have actually cut it. Can't really tell still. Oh, uh, it does look like it's trimmed, I think. Looks like there's potentially a little dog or a rooster on the runway. I just got off continuing. Oh, they definitely didn't cut it. Slippery. We got some caught on my wheel I could feel. Yeah, definitely some stuff caught on my wheel. I'll have to walk down here and clear that little clump of grass off now. Thanks as always guys for taking the time to watch. Consider subscribing if this is the kind of content you guys do enjoy watching. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Helps my channel grow. Sure do guys appreciate you guys doing that and leaving comments, it really does. It's helped my channel grow quite a bit over the past year, so I sure do appreciate it. Uh, definitely have not started on cutting all that extra stuff at the end of the runway. So yeah, we'll be having some conversations today. Anyways, that's the life of a bush pilot from Papua New Guinea. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Uh, let's go ahead and shut down. We'll shut our blowers off, all of our lights. See you guys next time.